Listen, I'm fired up because mindset is everything in this game. Whether we're talking about trucking, whether we're talking about business, whether we're talking about relationships, whether we're talking about life, the game of life, mindset is everything because your mindset determines everything, right? It's so crucial. Your mindset is so crucial because it literally determines everything in your reality. It determines your entire outcome. It determines your fate. So you have to have the right mindset. And listen, I'm not saying anything that I haven't already experienced, right? I'm not saying anything that I haven't, I'm only telling you from my experience. I'm only telling you what I experienced, the things that have changed my life because I've been broke, okay? I've been depressed. I've been a people pleaser. I've been, you know, in a, an abusive relationship where I was the one being abused, oddly enough, okay? I've slept in my car for weeks at a time trying to keep up appearances, okay? I've been at the top of the world where I had friends, I've had money, I've had all kind of stuff just abundant in my life and then I've also been at the very bottom where nobody wanted to be bothered with me because of things that I was doing the things that I was saying right I've been on both sides of the spectrum and I understand very clearly now that your mindset is everything it literally is everything and it changes your fate and it affects the outcome of every situation that you're experiencing right so it's super important again I'm fired up to even talk about this topic because it's super important to me it's a super important to you it's important to everybody who watches this video because listen your mindset is everything so you can see how important it is that you need to train your mind that's number one I'm gonna talk about three things but that's number one let's just get right into it you have to train your mind you have to train your mind. You have to train your mind every day. You have to cultivate your mood every single day. Every single day you have to cultivate. Listen, your thoughts and emotion are what's creating your life, okay? Your thoughts and your emotions are what's creating your life. Listen, you can't intellectualize any of this stuff that I'm talking about. You want me to give examples, you want me to explain it. We could talk about the metaphysics, we could talk about spirituality, we could talk about all the reasons why this is true, but it doesn't make a difference until you actually experience it for yourself. Once you start doing it little by little, you know, one day at a time, you start to realize that, oh shit, this actually works. <laughs> it actually works, but you have to take the first step and just start doing it. As hard as it may be, as, uh, what's the term they use? Who's spiritual as it sounds, it is literally essential. It's so crucial that you start to cultivate your mind, cultivate your mood every single day by speaking life over your life, speaking affirmations over your life every single day, uh, choosing to be happy. Listen, you're at to start training your mind for success. For whatever the outcome is that you want to have in your life, whether, like I said, whether it be business, trucking, relationships, whatever, you have to start training your mind to start to see the success in a situation. You have to get control of your emotions. Stop being so emotional and start thinking rationally. Start looking for the good and the positive in situations instead of being negative about every situation. Start looking for the good and the positive in the situation and start focusing, start focusing on that and stop reacting to everything that's happening, okay? There's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on around the world. You don't have to react to every single thing, but you can respond to certain things that's being presented in your reality, okay? You don't have to react to every single thing, but you can respond, there is a difference. Reacting is you acting off of ego, off of your emotions versus response is realizing that whatever is going on probably has nothing to do with you. That that person is probably just projecting or that that situation can be resolved with just some time and effort and, and focus the necessary energy towards fixing that issue, okay? That's responding versus just reacting out of an emotional response just because you don't know how to control your emotions or your thoughts, right? So another thing when it comes to training your mind, you have to get rid of all negative thoughts. You have to eradicate the negative thoughts because one negative thought can because one negative thought really throws everything off. It literally throws everything off. If you've been working, trying to build positive self images and working to do, towards positive affirmations, all this stuff, you start having negative thoughts, it throws the whole thing off. So never finish a negative thought, never complete a negative sentence, stop it and replace it with something um, fruitful, something positive and, and, and focus only on solutions. Like that's the only thing you should be focusing on anyway. Don't focus on problems, focus on solutions. Because when you focus on the solution, the problem take care of itself. Because you will either one, figure out the solution to the problem, <laughs> to solve the problem, or you'll find that the problem take care of itself. I mean, think about it. You've survived literally every, you survived every bad day. Everything always works out. You've survived every single one of your bad days. Everything works itself out. So focus on solutions only, okay? Again, cultivate your mind every single morning. 
Cultivate your thoughts every single day. Thoughts and emotions are creating your reality. Don't ask me to explain it, just experience it for yourself. All right, y'all, so the second thing you have to realize in addition to having a right mindset, you have to plant the seeds and wait for them to harvest. Nothing is gonna happen overnight. Nothing happens overnight. You have to plant the seed and wait for the harvest. While you're waiting for the harvest, there's some things you gotta do, right? You have to water the seed, okay? It's not gonna grow unless you water it. Watering it is speaking life over your life. Watering it may consist of doing certain things you have to do in order for it to succeed, right? You can't create a business and think that just because you open the doors on day one, you're gonna have a million dollars in sales without doing any marketing, right? There are some things you have to do in order for that harvest to come in. So you have to realize that that nothing is gonna happen overnight. So you have to wait, okay? okay? I know some people, if you're like me, you want everything, you want what you want, you want it now, right? We live in a very microwave society, I understand it. But you have to understand, wait. Wait means will arrive in time. Will arrive in time. Nothing is gonna happen overnight, but it will happen faster if you focus on it, if you if you stay consistent, if you stay positive, if you keep watering the seed, it will grow faster. It definitely will. <laughs> so just remember that wait me will arrive in time. You have to plant the seed in order to harvest. Number three, what I really want y'all to understand, because this is also super, super important to your mindset, is that, that your environment is essential to the person that you are becoming, right? Your environment is essential to the person that you are becoming. You have to realize that you yourself are a seed. And there are times where you are in environments where you can actually pour into other people as well. You are a seed and you have to realize that the people around you are either cultivating that crop or they're taking away, okay? So you have to analyze the people that's in your life and decide whether or not they're watering your seed, AKA supportive, okay? Whether or not they're contributing, whether or not they're taking away from you or giving to you or draining you versus filling you up, you have to take account of the people that's in your environment and also make the most of the environments that you are in, okay? Because another reason why your environment is so important is because we're all energetically connected. Whether you wanna believe it or not, again, you gotta experience it for yourself. We're all energetically connected. If you don't believe me, I got an experiment for you. Get you a deck of cards, right? Get you a deck of regular cards, playing cards, and get you a person, don't tell them what you're doing, but get you a deck of cards, hold up the card, but they can't see what color the card is, right? If you have a black card, repeat in your mind several times, this is a black card, black card, black card, the card is black, the card is black, the card is black. Don't tell them what you're doing and ask them to really think about, take a guess at what they think the color of the card is. I promise you, out of the 52 cards or whatever the cards, or however many cards pull for them, say it's 10, at least eight or nine out of 10, they're gonna get correct, okay? That's called telepathy, it's called osmosis, right? So <laughs> uh, uh, whatever the probability is, it doesn't really matter. The point is that you, we're all energetically connected and the thoughts and emotions that other people are giving off, the vibrations that they're giving off, it affects you. So if somebody is constantly negative all the time, it's going to affect you. If they're positive and supportive, it's going to affect you. So it's, it's super crucial that whoever you have around you is cultivating, they're pouring into you and you're pouring into them because it's a, you know, the more you give, the more you receive. So you have to be able to help other people as well. So, so again, it's super important that you begin to cultivate your mind and really take control over your thoughts and emotions. If you need help with that, listen, I got a workbook that's on Amazon. It's available right now. You can go get it on Amazon. And uh, it teaches you about the 30 day rule. It teaches how to train your mind for success. It teaches you how to train your mindset for prosperity and abundance or whatever it is that you want, okay? Whatever that may be. Not everybody wants to be rich, but the point is, you need to start cultivating your mind every single day. You need to start speaking life into your life. You need to start, you need to plant, start planting seeds for the things that you want. Okay, whether, like again, whether you're trying to start a new business, whether you're starting trucking. Okay, I plant the seed for my trucking business months before I actually started the business. I was writing it down. I was thinking about it. I was, was visualizing what it would look like and the success that I would have, okay? I planted the seed long before I took any action. Once, once I decided I to take action, again, that's also super important. Once you decide, that changes everything. Once I took action, I had the whole business set up within a week. I had everything set up and ready to go 
uh, obviously there was a waiting period, but I had pretty much done everything that I could do within a week's time period. period. So that's it. That's all, man. Listen, get control of your emotions, get control of your thoughts because your thoughts and your emotions are what's creating your reality. Experience it for yourself. That's it. That's all y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.